students uh, welcome to the level 2 that is for question and answers for mid level analyst malware analyst or SOC analyst so in the previous video I have uh, given the question and answers for uh, malware analyst or SOC analyst uh, level 1 where we have discussed the basic uh, question and answers okay so in this particular part I will discuss some more advanced level of uh, like uh, in the mid level uh, level 2 of uh, malware analyst what type of questions you can come across or the frequently asked uh, questions okay so what happens in the mid level analyst level of interview questions and answers uh, where the focus turns to the real world applications of malware analyst uh, skills at this level of uh, questioning the candidates will be expected to answer higher level concept questions and more hypothetical questions which demonstrate the heightened level of applied knowledge like your knowledge will be tested here like you will be uh, asked to explain the real world scenarios uh, for malware uh, analysis or they want to check your skills okay so because you are demanding a high package or you are for a role of high package uh, so you will be questioned some real world uh, uh, scenarios or real world applications so first question will be like uh, on uh, what is heuristic analysis okay so heuristic analysis is a malware and virus detection method that looks for common suspicious characteristic to find new and unknown malware and virus threads this will keep an organization ahead of the curve with the hardest to find threads the unknown ones or the new ones what is automated analysis automated analysis is another way to analyze malware just as when other things are automated, when you automate the analysis of malware, it is done to save time. This should be done in a sandbox to mitigate or eliminate any impact on your network. What is dynamic analysis? Dynamic analysis or behavior analysis examines malware by executing it in a controlled, monitored environment in order to observe its behavior. This is preferable to static analysis which conducts its examination without actually running the malware. The other major benefit of dynamic analysis is that you can execute the malware without harming your network devices. How do you identify threats within software or programs? This is again a more uh, common question that you can come across. The preface to this question is that your organization has encountered software with the unknown source and uh, staff are unsure how to proceed. As a malware analyst, you would scan the software file with the antivirus program to see if it contains any hidden malware nasties. If you encounter a file that you are not sure of or compare it with the current threat reports and malware backlist to see it. Uh, like it has been reported as a threat or what okay so this is a very confused situation where you need a lot of knowledge and a lot of skills to like come out of this particular situation so one of your uh, co-workers has received a suspicious email with a pdf attachment what do you do so as i said before you will come across some real world incident real life uh, like issues okay so this kind of questions you will be definitely like facing in the interviews of level 2 malware analyst this is another of the real world application question uh, that you will likely face this is also a very common event in an organization granted in real world practice you will probably only field a question like this if the security team is out for the day regardless you will want to tell the co-worker to not to download or open the pdf file and to delete the suspicious email entirely a good malware analyst will look to lighten their future workloads by proactively taking care of issues as they arise so they will not require actual examination of malware what is process injection process injection is a method that malware can use to con uh, like conceal its uh, operation within the system the malware has to go through a certain set of functions to carry out this technique and it is important that the malware analyst know how to identify these operations. 
The best way to know this is to make judgment based on previous experiences and acquired knowledge. How important are software exploits with regard to malware analysis? This is again a very important question. Software exploits are very important to malware analysts in the course of carrying out their roles. Software exploits have been increasingly used in recent years to sneak malware into a system because they need no user interaction and the malware's malicious code can deliver its malicious code undetected. It goes uh, without saying that analyzing software exploits can be very helpful for software analysts. So, as an example, inform you that uh, their co their uh, work they were their work a smartphone which uh, they extensively use Android OS or probably has a malware. So, what do you uh, suggest they do? Okay, this is an again a real world question. So, an employee informs you that their work smartphone which they extensively use Android OS on probably has malware. Okay. So, what do you uh, suggest they do? Okay. So, this is again a real world question. The first thing to do is uh, to recommend that they stop using their Android OS phone for web searches as Android OS is uh, like peppered with software exploits. Also, scan their phone for any threats delete any new applications they have installed or anything that uh, they are uh, like recommend that the employee only visit the websites that are work related not uh, any other some uh, like advertisement uh, or some other uh, luring websites okay uh, not only will uh, these keep the phone away from a lot of sources of malware but it will also make them more efficient employees can you name two different tools uh, that you would use as a malware analyst with the tools being used in different phases of malware analysis? This is a very good question, uh, like again a frequently asked question that you will come across in the interviews. Uh, to further highlight your previous work experience with the malware, to show that uh, you have worked in this real world issues, you'll be like uh, checked, like as I said before, you your knowledge will be checked like this. A good example of a tool to use during the disassembler phase is a IDA Pro. Another malware analysis phase is a debugger phase and OLIDBG is a good example of a tool used at that phase. Whatever you pick though, it's a smart to back up your choices of tools with the stories about your experience with their uh, real world application. Can you recommend any binary analysis tools? Yes, you most definitely can. Two good examples of binary analysis tools are a Malcode Analysis Pack and a PE Explorer. Mentioning either tool will show the interviewer that you know that. What you are talking about and as always with the talking about tools, it is a good idea to add the flourish of experience and times when you have used these tools. See. Uh, like telling more about the tools you have used uh, like it will show how uh, uh, that skillful you are okay so because practically speaking uh, if you speak the practical things the tools you use for analysis uh, or for detection okay or for proactiveness uh, like this is a very good way to impress the interviewer so these are all some of the important questions that you will come across in the level to malware analyst hope you like the video if you like the video please hit the like button do share this video among your friends thanks for watching take care bye bye